About a week ago, I had a very creepy and unsettling dream. In the dream, I received a letter when I opened it. it I was surprised to find that it was a funeral invitation, even though I didn't know whose funeral it was, I decided to go anyway. When I came to the house, the funeral was taking place. There was a long line of people outside. They were all in a queue, waiting to get in. I noticed that there was a ticket gate in front of the house. Everyone was walking in single file past the ticket gate, adding in their invitation and then going into the house. Staring behind the ticket gate, ticket gate, there was a woman with long black hair dressed in black clothes. Every time someone handed her their invitation, she would say, Thank you, sir. Then bow them and usher them through the gate. This was, repeat, was repeated over and over. I joined the queue, and when my turn finally came, I handed the invitation in at the ticket gate, just like everyone else. All of a sudden, there was a loud ping pong, and the ticket gate suddenly closed. The woman who was at the gate grabbed my arm tightly and glared at me. This time I noticed that the woman's eyes were not human's eyes. She had the eyes of a snake. The woman opened her mouth and hissed, I finally found you. At that point, I woke up in a cold sweat with my heart pounding so hard it felt like it was going to burst down my chest. For the next few days, I couldn't get the dream out of my head. The, so the sight of that woman's snake eyes sent chills down my spine. I couldn't understand what she had meant when she said I finally found you. I decided to visit a psychic who lived in the area to see if I could shed some light on the meaning of the dream. When I went to his office, he brought me inside and asked me to sit down. I told the psychic the whole story about what happened to me. As it came to the end of the story, I was telling him, and when the woman grabbed me, I saw that she had the eyes of a snake, just like I interrupted. That's right, I said, how do you know? A psychic pointed to the corner of the room, and with a serious look on his face, he said, because she's staying there, watching you right now.